All right, 8 o'clock in the morning, one ninety four zero and Amy K. Ready to spread some cheer, I guess. It might be minor, but that's okay. It might be insignificant, but it made my day anyway. Come on, Zero and Amy K. Spread good vibes my way. It's my little victory with the playhouse. Hooray! Easy as you're getting up, trying to get all the kids shoveled off to school, get to work, to be a little bit crabby, be a little downtrodden. It happens to the best of us, right? But in a round of my little victory, you celebrate those little minor things going on well with you that maybe you would usually gloss over and not think that much of to maybe uplift you a little bit. ABK, you got a little victory? Yes. And I actually have you to thank a little bit. So you signed me up for a fantasy football league. I did do that, yeah. Even though you are not in the league. I'm not, no. <laughs> Steven has really taken over my league, but that doesn't matter. It's still my name on the league, and it's all our coworkers. And do you know who I've been playing against this past week? I have no idea, no. Dan Cash, our boss. Did you beat him? I beat him hey! so good. The final score, I had 117 points, and he had 75. So I'm feeling good. The first couple weeks... They're pretty bad for me. My team was not doing well. But just maybe last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I don't know when it started. I started doing a little bit better, picking back up. My team's my team's doing good. Well, to be fair, so the registration was just like a whiteboard in the break room. I figured you'd see your name on there be like, why is this here any race? I didn't think you'd actually participate in the league. Well, you wrote my name, and I wrote a note next to it, and I said, what? And I signed it, Amy K. And I think it was pretty clear that I didn't sign up, but I still was a part of the league. I gave, I did give the 20 bucks, so I guess that's my own fault. But You're in it now, man. I hope I win. Wouldn't that be something? If I won? Yeah, you buying coffee or something for the, the show, you know, as in you and me. Listen, <laughs> you, you signed me up. Yeah, you're welcome. You have done no help for this team. I, I put your name on the list. I guess. Yeah, so that's like... That's half the battle right there. I originally was not going to sign up because Joel D asked me to. And I said, yeah, Steven and I would like to join. And we were both going to have our own team. And Joel was so rude. He said, employees only. Well, that's funny considering, you know, he's ghost puppeteering your team. In the well, background I know. Anyway. And then yeah. once my team got up anyways, I told Steven and I said, you could be in charge of it. He didn't want you guys to have two teams in it? Isn't that so rude that he said employees only? Huh. I mean, yeah. just because he's sad and alone and can't have two teams, I mean, he's got room for everybody else. That's how I felt. Come Jeez. on. See, I'm really trying to stick up for you there. Thank you. Well, we'll see if I win. Maybe you'll get a coffee. There you go. A little victory. What you got? Well, after some doing and some sweat and some tears, two hours of my life, I finally built this grill. Hey, assembly was required and you got it assembled. I did. It was like, I don't know what language the directions were in, but it wasn't one I know. There were letters, numbers, arrows. There was everything. I don't know. I don't know where they got these directions from, but I figured it out. And hopefully I'm making mistakes later. I feel that way about in English directions half the time. It's just I can't follow them. I don't understand what he was saying. Arrows? What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is that what he was talking about, setting it up? Put this piece into this piece. Yeah, I have no clue what he was talking about. We've seen some little victories. Yeah, someone said, I started walking, kind of jogging, every night, and I'm starting to eat better. Now that it is getting colder, I'm thinking about getting a treadmill. And someone else said, the owner of the place I work said I'm doing a good job. And this is the first time anyone I've worked with has ever said that. Yo, that's You know what? Good for you. That's a big victory Major right there. Major victory. Your little victory today. What you got? Uh, my coworker, who I cannot stand, she like chews like an animal and is kind of the you know what of the office, has been let go, and it is the best news I've had in a long time. I mean, I feel weird celebrating somebody getting fired, but I'm glad that your life is better. <laughs> Listen, we've all been there. I mean, if they're a real witch of a human yeah, being, sure. Come on. Yeah, I mean, but was it just that they had bad? habits as far as like chewing with their mouth open and stuff because isn't that what was her example was listen that is gross i had to change offices because i could hear a guy munching on his potato chips but if he was leaving with a cardboard box full of potato chips he would have felt a little bit bad for him 
if <laughs> that's why he got fired because I complain about him eating. <laughs> yeah, I would feel terrible. But let me tell you, I'm sure that guy was doing a terrible job. Man, how loosey goosey is our HR department got if they're like, listen, Amy's complained about you <laughs> chomping your chips. Everyone would be fired then. OK, I complain about everyone. Time for you to get out of here coffee slurper <laughs> but that's me and i'm sad now your little victory got one of these 237 if you call or text miles smith stargazing 194 it's 805 Turn around uh, my little victory. Just something good that's going on with you. But if it's a little minor, that is okay. Call or text 237. It's in lots of good victories getting texted in. As someone said, about three and a half weeks until I finally get to marry my significant other. We've been together for almost 12 years. So I'm not stressed. Everything is all organized. And someone else said, I have a client of mine who's going to bring me some chips and fresh made salsa this afternoon. I'm Ooh. really excited about it. And someone else said, two weeks from today, I'm going to Las Vegas. Hey, that'll be fun. I'm jealous. Actually, maybe Vegas. I don't know how Vegas would be for Ego. Uh, you know, you probably wouldn't have a lot of fun right now. Yeah. Do you know the last time I went to Las Vegas, too? I was in eighth grade. <laughs> so you've really actually never experienced, experienced Las Vegas. No. Oh, it's a fun place. That's one of my favorites. If I think I might have a gambling it, problem. I think... It, I would love it. Oh, you really would. You really would. Maybe for completely different reasons, though, because you'd be like blackout and I'd be like, oh, I'll take your money and gamble for you. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a little victory. I found the perfect costume for my dog for Halloween. What is that perfect costume? So um, this is already tailored to a similar dog. And that dog is my neighbor's dog and passed away. It's a legit like head to toe Indiana Jones costume with like the whip and the gun and the hat it's meant for a bulldog it like fits a bulldog huh so the neighbor had a bulldog and they dressed him as indiana jones and now you've inherited that and also have a bulldog is that what's going on i think so i don't know as long as it's gonna wear the costume good job yeah i like a good relevant super top costume like indiana jones <laughs> do you think that's relevant no i was being sarcastic yeah okay wait that's cool though did it who is the guy who is Indiana Jones? Harrison Ford. Did he recently do one or did he do one? No. Uh, you know what? It's just a couple of years ago they did one. It was one where they like de-aged him for some of the movie yeah. and stuff. I haven't seen that one yet. I stopped watching after about the time Shia LaBert was in the movies. I don't think I've seen any of them. They are, they're solid movies. They just It's really spaced out. They've gone on for a long Too time. Too much. It went from like, you know, young Harrison Ford to like, oh my God, how are you still doing movies, Harrison Ford? Yeah. So it's like, eh. you see some more little victories. Yeah, someone said, I have a seventh-month-old daughter. That's it. That's my victory. And someone else said, my little victory is I only have a four-day work week and spending the weekend in the Haunted Palmer House Hotel in, a, is it Sioux Center? S-A-U-K? I think so, yeah. Sioux Center for Halloween oh, weekend? Oh, Sock Center. Sock Center. Sock Center. Okay. Um, you're willingly staying at a haunted hotel? That's interesting. I didn't know there was a haunted hotel in Sock Center. That's cool. You've been to this place? I drive past to get a mini hand place, yeah. I need all the details. This sounds terrifying. Little victory. Uh, I just got the great news that my brother is coming home from the Army. He's going to be with us for the holidays this year. I'm super psyched. Oh, there you go. That's exciting. Congratulations. Yeah, that will be so exciting to have him back for the holidays. Little victory. Oh, my goodness. I'm so proud of myself. So I was in there washing dishes and my ring slipped off and fell into the drain. And so, ah, my husband's already gone to work. I knew, was, you know, he's going to, ah. So guess what I did? Uh, I went and got my little shop back, you know, because we've had some water, you know, in the basement and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I sucked it out myself. <laughs> I got the ring back. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, I had to get it out the machine or whatever. It's a win for me because I would have probably had to cost me 200 bucks to like call someone to do it. I am kind of curious, like what other gunk came flying out of there? We were like, oh my Ew. gosh, how long has this been floating around in our pipes? Ew, I don't even want to think about that. Chunks of food. I know, stop. I will ago. throw up. Blah. Some more little victories. Yeah, someone said, me and my bestie have a mommy's day on Friday and into Saturday. 
Um, someone else said, I've been dating my boyfriend for over six months now, and when I look at him, I still get butterflies. Aww. And someone else said, work and life are both good, and I'm just spending my energy maintaining it and appreciating it right now. And little victory got somewhere like, you know what? It might not be huge, but this is great. So my good news is I won the Halloween costume contest at my office, hey. and I went dressed as Kim Jong-un, and I won. Was there a prize? Any free vacation days at work or anything cool? We're talking about like a gift card for Starbucks, which is great. You know, I'm there all the time, so mm-hmm. it comes in handy. And um, just, you know, the honor of the uh, of the award itself. It's an honor just to be nominated. It's <laughs> kind of what's happening there. Congratulations. And not to take away from your little victory, but you know what that made me think of? Uh. Do you remember when we used to have contests all the time in the office? Like there'd be a chili contest or just different ones. And you could win prizes. It was to up office morale. But ever since they stopped, I've been real sad. Well, and they would give away prizes. And then we did a pumpkin contest. Didn't you win that one? Yeah. And that's the that's the contest. They decided no prizes will be given out. And I think it's because everyone was mad that I won. Uh, Yours was pretty good, though. It was stellar. It deserved a trophy of some kind. Yeah. I made it look like a caramel apple. I painted it. Yeah, you worked really hard on it. Yeah, thank you. I I heard there's supposed to be some sort of lucrative cash prize. Yeah, there used to be prizes for all the other contests. And then the one contest I win, they decided (laughs) no prizes this time. Maybe you recommend the old boss, man. Hey, it's time we bring it back and and just get the do the same thing again. No. Are you dead to him now? I will not be a part of any office morale. Yeah, <laughs> it brought down my morale. <laughs> don't don't worry. Nobody accused you of bringing it up around here. <laughs> Here's what's coming up next.